The Disappearing Dream As the dream of life disappears, what we have called reality, some strange things happen. It's like we're reading a book organically, and out of order rather than chapter after chapter. We have many moments of déjà vu, past memories flash vividly before us as if they're happening right now. Visions of the future mix with these as if side by side. Then everything suddenly returns to so-called normal as the wave of change hits the bottom of the trough for a brief moment. Some nighttime dreams seem so real that we can scarcely believe it when we wake up to this world. Time is being disassembled, shaking the continuity we have come to rely on. As fickle as it's been, we at least knew day from night. We had an inkling of when to get up and when to go to sleep. That too has departed as sleep patterns have become chaotic. We can sleep for 12 hours one day and not sleep at all for 48 hours. Waking in the middle of the night, wide awake, it's common. Time can be considered the third dimension and space the fourth, with the now taking on the role of the fifth dimension. As this new dimension interfaces the others, the mind becomes confused in a way it has never experienced before for most people. The mind is the seat of illusions, the orchestrator of the identity we call ourself, and the perpetrator of separation from the one being that we all are. It's the only devil there is, and it's the architect of the only hell, as delusional as it is. As this interface deepens, we begin to make sense of things that were once meaningless, and everything that happens, or we imagine, seems somehow to be intertwined in some fantastic seamless message that is now seen from above as a beautiful tapestry that's been speaking to us forever of who we really are. There is a magic in the message, and out of the ugliness of the mind's rantings, joy begins to bubble to the surface of consciousness. We're often happy for no reason, laugh without provocation, sing and dance spontaneously, or at least we would very much like to, and find beauty everywhere. It's the falling away of the dream, and as the edges of the endless stories that once defined us disappear, we begin to feel empty. This can be very scary. The mind hates emptiness and is always seeking activity. Silence is its arch enemy. In silence, the screen of consciousness gradually becomes blank. But instead of fear of desolation, peace rises to the surface, and we feel a freedom that we somehow remember is our real normal state. It cannot be described or explained, only felt. The more we say yes to the discomfort that accompanies the disappearing dream, the quicker it dissolves and the real surfaces. This is the moment of humanity's awakening. This is the moment of rebirth foretold in every ancient tradition. Let us embrace the inevitable grandeur that has already embraced us.